Have you ever asked yourself, what would you do if you were the Donald? Hello again everyone, I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and inspire. And you know, I've asked myself that question, what would I do if I were the Donald? And it might go something like this. <coughs> My fellow Americans, I speak with you tonight with a heavy heart as I observe all of the demonstrations that are going on throughout our great country, with our great people, in our great country. Now, here's my point for tonight. I want to let you know that I hear your cries. I want to let you know that I'm listening. I want to let you know that I'm here to fulfill my greatest campaign promise to you. No, I'm not talking about the wall. That keeps people out. What I'm looking to do is to unite people. And there are two major tracks that we must pursue. Now, I came into office with the platform of making America great again. My first focus was on taking our economy and making it great. Obviously, we've run into a little bit of a buzzsaw here with this pandemic. However, I'm going to work diligently and cooperate with the governors of all 50 states and territories to work to make our economy back to where it should be. You have my promise. You have my oath on that. We're here to make America great. But above and beyond making America great in an, econo in an economic way, the people of all races, creeds, colors are speaking about the injustice that happened in Minneapolis. And I want to let you know that I hear your voice. I want to let you know that it's time to not only make America great with our economy, but to make America great as far as the way people treat each other. Let's not forget that our Constitution, our Declaration of Independence, are somewhat of a vision statement, just like a business would have. And what is our vision statement? That we hold these truths to be self-evident. That we have the inalienable right to peace, to freedom, to the pursuit of happiness. These are things that we all have an inalienable right to have. We need to make sure that all of our citizens have this right. So, what I want to do is I want to recognize, and I want you to recognize with me, that this is a, a, a game-changing moment in our history. The people have cried out for what they want. We're here to make America great again. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to work on eliminating this systemic prejudice that we're seeing in various walks of life and I'm not just speaking about law enforcement but the way that we're going to <coughs> excuse me United States country the way that we're going to get this ball rolling is by laying down certain rules starting with our law enforcement about what they can and cannot do now there's going to be some disagreements from certain circles in that area. We recognize that. Anytime there's any kind of a major change in the mindset of a country, it always starts by making a rule. As you recall, slavery was something that was popular in one area, not popular in another area, 
we made the change and now the people against slavery are no longer uh, you know are again uh, people for slavery are no longer speaking out same thing is true with women's suffrage it was a cry no we shouldn't allow the women to vote now we don't hear about that anymore but it starts with written rules with written laws that are there to govern and what happens is people will start to embrace the mindset of these rules and that is our intention so clearly one of the things we have to do is eliminate any sort of chokeholds knees and so on while a, a, a perpetrator is in custody and safe and is safely confined to an area now we're not I don't want to handcuff the police when they're in a certain situ situations of danger because that's just not smart however when the situation is under control our police our law enforcement has to have the self-control to not commit heinous acts like we saw for almost nine minutes in the state of Minnesota so what I'm asking you to do is let's work together on the economy let's work together <clears throat> excuse me let's work together as a mindset as a nation and let's lock arms together you've already started doing that with your demonstrating and your protesting and I hear you and I agree with you it's time for us to start doing this and I am going to be working with the governors to see if we can implement Im implement these policies nationwide because it's time that everybody had to was able to enjoy the inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let's make America great again. I'm with you. I hope you're with me on this subject. And because we will never end a presidential speech on a philosophical note, let's get out there and Charge! I'm Eli's dad.